the 10 year overview reading for SLGG shares throughout the 10 year period of 2020 through 2029. That's um, Super League Gaming Inc, SLGG. It's currently October 13th, 2022, approximately 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And the current price at the time of this reading for SLGG shares is 59 cents. All right, so the overall theme and behavior, um, we have sideways rotation um, along a support level, moving higher, meeting a resistance, and then falling back, back down to rotate sideways along support. Um, and it seems like business operations seem to run pretty smoothly throughout this 10 year period. Um, it's crossed with out of a decline, there's a, there's a move from the bottom of a range all the way to the top of a range. Um, it looks like there may, there's some difficulties along the way within that 10-year period that they, they uh, seem to overcome through hard work and diligence. Uh, behavior around the high, uh, we have um, a significant move higher on a multi-year chart and stand out, but a significant move higher, maybe from a short squeeze or from to, pre to fill a previous gap down or um, just from being severely oversold. But there's a big, big move that would stand out on a multi-year chart to reach. There may be a gap up to reach the, the high for SLGG in this 10-year period. Um, and then there's a U-shaped dip around the 10-year low. Uh, that forms uh, between the, uh, it forms near the per the intersection of perpendicular diagonal trend lines. Um, also, something that's hidden comes to light. So there may be some sort of scandal um, within the company uh, that maybe at some point comes to light and brings us to a low. It's possible. Female executive may be hiding something as well, but I think probably there's more with scandal. Uh, Twenty twenty, um, we have. Uh, a decline that increases with momentum moving forward in time. 2021, we have uh, majority of behaviors bumping along resistance. We may break through resistance, bump along some more resistance, break through resistance, but it's the majority of the time break bumping along resistance. I uh, generally bullish. Um, and then in 2022, we have significant opportunity. Um, there's sideways rotation that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside and a significant opportunity in there. Um, with the full card, that's always a significant opportunity. Um, yeah, there you go, see that? So in that fast sudden move higher in 2022, looks like rally continues into 2023, but it, uh, it, along a diagonal trend line, but it breaks down with a, with a fast sudden move to the upside and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line, increasing with volatility as we go down. Uh, 2024, uh, yeah, selling from a near from a uh, uh, an important crest where there's a, a significant drop, a significant decline. The company may like have like some serious serious problems take place here. This may have to do with the male executive. 2025. Um, three, uh, there's a decline from a resistance to a support back to uh, incline back to that same resistance and then a decline back to that same support, creating a sideways S formation within the channel. Uh, there may be female leadership highlighted here as well. 2026, uh, I'm advised to be cautious here. I've seen this, I, I believe I saw uh, 2026 as a caution or the Prudence card and a lot of other 10 years that I've done. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, and then we have uh, sideways rotation along a critical support level increasing with bullish momentum as we move forward in time. Um, and then in 2027, we have a period of volatility that ends with a fast sudden move to the upside. In 2028, uh, we have a decline from a support level down to meet a second support level. This is on the scale of a one of a multi-year chart, and then we rotate sideways along that support. Um, 2029, we have a critical resistance level that's highlighted. Um, at which point, when we meet that that 
price level, there's uh, like a, a flattening out of price volatility and volume. Um, I would advise to trade around a significant decline, um, on a, maybe possibly on a global scale here, but definitely a significant decline. I'm advised to trade around, um, and that would most likely be here in the 2023-2024. Um, this whole area here is where there's a good trade. I can sense it. Um, and then in the following 10 year period out of a decline, there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of the period of decline. Guys, that's SLGG for the 10 year period. We're going to get into the pattern recognition and actually time where the highs and the lows are if, if they're gracious enough to give us this information. But we're going to utilize the pattern recognition portion that was developed over 22 years to figure out where the best trade opportunities are and all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned. Before we get into the pattern recognition portion of this reading, but, uh, which took 22 years to develop, my friends, um, please take a moment to support the channel. There's a few ways you can do it by subscribing, following. We also have a donation button uh, for, for PayPal donations, a cash app. Um, you know, all, all, all sorts of stuff. You can buy the book on our website, book a recurring, uh, a recurring monthly reading um, that you would get before everybody else by about three weeks. Um, you know, there's all sorts of ways, guys. Um, but most importantly, for your continued, um, you know, watching of our channel, uh, much appreciated. And with that said, guys, okay, so uh, SLGG, we've got a high... So we have a high in 2020, it looks like we, we come out of, and guys, you have to keep in mind, it's a broad, this uh, one card representing a whole year is very broad, so there's gonna be some, some wiggle room here. We have a high here in 2020, which really is at the very uh, beginning of 2021. <clears throat> and <clears throat> you could say that there was a high here in 2019, and then we fell pretty hard and continued to fall, increasing uh, 2020 was increasing momentum on a decline, right? Um, then we have bumping along resistance, breaking through resistance, bumping along resistance, breaking through resistance, bumping along resistance, breaking through resistance, uh, and that that would be the uh, Valor card there, followed by a sharp decline, which is really 2022, um, but it came off of that. We, we're doing kind of like a sideways downward slope um, and that's kind of like a combo you could say between uh, the decline of the full card and the um, sideways rotation of uh, the Knight of Discs and so at the end of 2022 we should see a, a, a fast sudden move higher it may end up being in in 2023 based on what I said you have to give it a little wiggle room but uh, there should be a fast sudden move higher somewhere there and then we have um, out of a decline it looks like in 2023, we rally from the bottom of a range to the top of a range, um, and then there's uh, a rally along a diagonal trend line in 2023 that breaks down with a fast sudden move higher, and then a breakdown through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility on the way down. There's a, an opportunity to short the stock, although if it's really only like 59 cents, I don't find that to be an ethical thing to do. Um, a, a better alternative would be to wait until 2025 um, when we hit uh, support somewhere in 2025, 20, 20, 2026, we rotate sideways along support. That would be an entry, uh, an entry point to get in on the long side and then sell uh, at a high in 2029. There's a lot, there's a significant decline here in 2023 through 2024, but I think we probably have a pretty good spike. We may even come back to these price levels here that we saw. Um, in 2023 before we take, or the end of 2022 into 2023, uh, before we take another big uh, decline over a couple year period. Um, that's, that's, that's SLGG, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, my friends, follow that rule of karma. It's, it's really, that's how you, you, you can benefit from this channel. This channel will only continue with the support of people who are benefiting from it. From it. So it's kind of like a, a mutual beneficial relationship, if you will. Um, and we put out 93 video, 903 videos last year, free. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one.